And you may have seen their incredible story on Shark Tank. We are live with the parents whose quest to save their child has become a family business dedicated to his legacy. You may have seen their incredible story on Shark Tank. Uh, now these uh, parents in their quest to save their sick child has become a family business dedicated to his legacy. Megan and Scott Reamer took a labor of love for their son Jackson from a Colorado kitchen to the toughest team of investors on TV. We want to welcome Megan and Scott this morning. Hi. Good Great morning. to Thanks meet you both. In, Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thanks for having us. So we see that clip there as you walk into the Shark Tank. Uh, how did you find yourselves on that show? Tell us how that started. Well, that's a good question. Uh, you know, going from the kitchen where we were making these by hand for so many years to that stage was uh, a short amount of time, but an incredible amount of work. And so really it was more humbling than anything, which is to say that when we started making these, people said, hey, you should sell these for years. Yeah. And uh, we thought, oh, they're just being kind. Right. We actually did decide to sell them. And they, it just take is taken off. It's uh, sort of been a quiet revolution in the snack food business uh, to introduce coconut oil snacks. Um, so it really is, is a little bit about us, but mostly about this trend in food that is sort of sweeping the nation. We're just a part of it. And your idea was to help Jackson with through diet and, yes. and and high a high fat diet. Why is that? Well, Jackson had a rare autoimmune disease called Icardi Gutierrez syndrome, and it went undiagnosed for 12 years. Mm -hmm. And during that time, he lost his ability to walk and talk and mm -hmm. ended up living in a wheelchair. And so Scott and I were frantically searching for answers, and we decided to focus on the only thing that we knew we had control over, which was his diet. So we started to look at uh, foods that were anti-inflammatory. We thought, we made an assumption, he had an in inflammation problem. And so we just wanted to feed him foods that wouldn't contribute it, mm. contribute toward it, and um, we landed on this high-fat, low-carb diet through a lot of trial and error, and found that we were able to reduce the severity and uh, frequency mm. of some of his symptoms. Mm. Wow! And you started Jackson's Honest in your own kitchen. Uh, why did you decide then? Uh, you mentioned many people said, "Hey, these are great. You yeah. should turn it into a business." But taking that step to actually do that. Uh, was probably a pretty big deal. So what made you decide? It was daunting for sure because we didn't know anything about the food business, right? Yeah. We had eaten lots of stuff, but how do you sell right. a bag of chips to a grocery store and get someone to buy it? So uh, we had to learn rapidly how to do that. Having said that, the impetus for the entire thing was to share the story uh, that Jackson um, went through, share the idea that you could make some profound differences in someone's life by changing their diet, uh, particularly on the fat side, right? Mm -hmm. People, are, I think, understand that carbohydrates, they're, you know, high fructose corn syrup maybe is not so good, but right. maple syrup and honey are better. Well, the same we learned through years of trial and error that coconut oil, a saturated plant-based fat, actually is quite good for you mm -hmm. uh, in many respects, and, and, and particularly for cooking. Yeah. And so that was so profoundly different than what we had heard as consumers mm -hmm. that we wanted to share that story and share how unbelievably important this single product was to our own family's trajectory and to Jackson's quality of life. Yeah, we're learning so much about canola oil and how if you use it over and over again, and especially in the frying process, it can be really unhealthy. And I was looking at your ingredients, non-GMO potatoes, organic coconut oil, organic apple uh, cider vinegar powder, yeah. mm. sea salt, pretty simple you stuff. You can pronounce all the ingredients, <laughs> yeah, exactly. right? Yes. Which they say yeah, is a big clean thing. Clean and simple. Yeah. yeah. That's right. And really interesting flavors, coconut oil, maple cinnamon tortilla chips. Mm. At first I thought, well, I, I never tried such a thing. They're <laughs> delicious. Yeah. What are people saying that have tried your product? They're saying the same thing yeah, you are, right? Yeah. They're delicious. They really like the clean label. They like the uh, ingredients that we're using. They like the plant-based fat that we're using. Um, it's really meeting a lot, checking a lot of boxes for people and mm -hmm. what they're looking for in a, in a snack food for sure, but just generally what they want to eat, the type of foods. Yeah. We came at this as parents, right? Yeah. So what would we want to see in a bag? And that's right. the way we approached it. And that's been not as sort of entrepreneurs or sharks as it were. And so that's been really helpful, I think, to produce a product that's clean and good tasting is because this is what we would like to eat. Yeah. yeah. Well, we want to support it. And, and thank you for bringing us these chips because we love chips. <laughs> we do. I feel like I can eat them without guilt. So, yeah. Yeah. So thank chips you. you can eat. That's right. right. <laughs> thank more, you. Thank you so much. For more on the Reamers and Jackson's Honest, visit jacksonshonest.com. So great to meet you both. You guys are right. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate Thanks your time.